One Virginia police officer's powerful story about overcoming depression is the inspiration for a new film. CBS 6's Tracy Sears talks about his struggles and the challenges first responders face and the toll it takes in this week's You Are Not Alone report. Jonathan, why do you want to be a cop? Break Every Chain is a new film that tells the story of a police officer's battle with alcoholism, depression, and devastating loss, and how faith turned his life around. The film is based on the true story and book written by a Virginia police officer. Jonathan Hickory, based on a true story, this is his life. <clears throat> now traveling the country, debuting the film, Jonathan Hickory hopes his story will help others. So I really think that it's going to reach and speak to a lot of people and change a lot of a lot of lives. When Hickory joined the police force at the age of 23, the excitement of a new job and loving marriage slowly took a turn. When I was younger, I experienced some childhood trauma. I lost my father at the age of 12 and uh, never really faced that. So the stress of police work eventually impacted Hickory's mental health just a few years into his career. And then about that same time, I became a fatal crash reconstruction officer. And so I was really starting to see a lot more death and a lot um, dealing with those families. And it, it was really taking a, its toll on, on me. Turning to alcohol to cope, Hickory's personal and professional life began to spiral. I was at my rock bottom, um, you know, the, the worst uh, time of the heaviest, darkest time of my entire life. It was May of or 2015. I almost took my own life. And there was a series of events that I wrote about in my book that led me to the point where um, I just didn't feel like there was any other solution other than taking my own life. Hickory's story reflects a growing epidemic. According to Blue Help, a mental health organization for police officers, nearly 90 officers in the U.S. have died by suicide this year. You try like mad to ask yourself, you know, how can we prevent this? You know, how can, what, what else could we do? What else could we have done? Chesterfield Police Chief Jeffrey Katz says he's working in his department to change the damaging stigma that prevents many working in law enforcement from seeking help. Our expectation societally is that the officer be superhuman. It's a profound responsibility, um, but there are emotions tied to it, and we have to, to learn to deal with those emotions. Kat says a dedicated wellness coordinator makes sure his officers have access to department psychologists, chaplains, and peer support groups. But he says more can be done. We have to lean on each other, and we have to be willing to be vulnerable. That's the real big message that I, I want to make sure that people are getting out. In a time where society seems so angry, it, a lot of times it, it's uh, difficult to say, well, I'm going to make myself vulnerable, right? Um, but that's what courage is about. That's what strength is about. Uh, that's what confidence is about. That, that really happened. Like Hickory says allowing himself to be vulnerable took time. Even as I was writing it, one thing that I originally left out of the book was that I saw a police psychologist for uh, five or six months. But I left it out because I was so ashamed. Hickory says he's since re-edited his book. I really feel like God laid it on my heart in that moment. So that others know that there is always hope and despair. It's changing lives and it's making a difference. For You Are Not Alone, I'm Tracy Sears. The Richmond screening of Break Every Chain helped raise over $1,600 for Blue Help. You can see the film streaming on Amazon Prime Video, Google Play, Apple TV, and Pure Flix.